What are the elements of poetry? A poem can be a collection of words that expresses feelings or ideas, sometimes with a specific meaning, sound, or rhythm. In the last video, we reviewed what poetry is. In this video, we will learn about the different elements of poetry. There are 14 elements in poetry. They are structure, form, subject, speaker, diction, tone, mood, sound and rhythm, figurative language, poetic devices, rhyme, meter, theme, and syntax. Structure is how the words of a poem are organized. The elements of structure include stanza, verse, and canto. A stanza is a group of lines separated from other groups of lines by a blank line or indentation. A verse is a stanza that doesn't have a specific number of lines, but it all goes together and makes sense. A canto is a pattern that can be found in some medieval poetry and long poems, like Dante Alighieri's Commedia, The Divine Comedy, and Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen. Form means the different types of poetry. Some common forms of poetry are sonnets, limericks, haiku, lyrics, and ballads. There are over 50 forms of poetry. The subject is what a poem is all about and can be different depending on the form of poetry. Some examples of poem subjects are love, separation, enlightenment, happiness, and loss. The speaker is the person or people who narrate the poem. Sometimes we think the speaker of a poem is the poet themselves, but that is not always true. Poets can use imaginary creatures and write the poem from that character's perspective. Usually a poem is written from the perspective of the first or third person speaker. When poets use the second person point of view, they are usually trying to communicate directly with their readers. Understanding the speaker can help us understand the tone and mood of a poem. Diction is a poet's use of language, choice of words, and syntax. Poetic diction is a very important element in poetry because it separates poetry from other forms of literature. Examples of poetic diction are irony, symbolism, juxtaposition, metaphors, and similes. The tone is the author's attitude towards the subject of their poem or the audience reading their poem. The mood of a poem describes how the poet's choice of words, the subject, and the author's tone show how the poet wants their readers to feel. In poetry, the sound of a poem is how lines or the sounds of specific words make a reader think. The rhythm is a set pattern that is formed by these sounds. Figurative language is a word or phrase that does not have its normal everyday literal meaning. Poets use figurative language to create a dramatic effect, make a comparison, or make their readers think about ideas that are not connected with the words they write in their poems. A poetic device is anything used by a poet to enhance the meaning of their poem. And this can include sounds, shapes, rhythms, phrases, and words. Some important poetic devices are simile, metaphor, repetition, alliteration, consonance, enjambment, irony, personification, onomatopoeia, and hyperbole. Rhyme is the repetitive pattern of sounds found in a poem. 
it can be used to reinforce a pattern or rhyme scheme. Some kinds of rhymes you might find in poetry are end rhyme, imperfect rhyme, internal rhyme, masculine rhyme, and feminine rhyme. End rhyme is a common type of rhyme in poetry that occurs when the last word of two or more lines rhyme. Imperfect rhyme is a type of rhyme that occurs in words that do not have an identical sound. Internal rhyme occurs in the middle of lines in poetry. Masculine rhyme is the rhyming between stressed syllables at the end of verse lines. Feminine rhyme is the rhyming between unstressed syllables at the end of verse lines. A meter is the pattern of a poem. Poets carefully arrange the words or word parts in their poems to make specific patterns and explain how they want these patterns to be read. Examples of meter are lamb, trochet, dactyl, anapest, spondy, and pyrex. Theme is a repeating idea that is spread out through a poem. Some common themes in poetry are love, nature, beauty, and death. Understanding the theme of a poem helps readers to recognize the main message behind a poet's reason for writing the poem. Syntax is the order that a poet uses to organize their words into meaningful patterns. Poets use syntax to bring attention to specific words which can help to define a poem's tone and mood. Okay, let's review what we have learned. The 14 elements in poetry are structure, form, subject, speaker, diction, tone, mood, sound and rhythm, figurative language, poetic devices, rhyme, meter, theme, and syntax. Understanding the elements of poetry can help you understand an author's writing and become a better poet too. Would you like to learn how you could write your own poem? Then be sure to check out my series, Poetry Writing for Kids, to learn how you can write your own poems from start to finish. If you like this video, then check out Ms. Dorsman's Virtual Corner for even more. If you are a teacher, you can follow Ms. Dorsman's Virtual Corner on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and TPT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching!